I don't know about you guys, but I assume some of you are watching the Olympics right now. It's wonderful every two to four years you have some great quality family TV that you can watch for a while, you know what I'm saying? And we, my, my girls and I and, and my wife like to watch the gymnastics. And we were watching the, the various uh, performances, men and women's. And I just kind of had this realization watching this. You see that they're judged on their routine and they have a max score. And while they're doing their routine, they're basically measured by deductions, by mistakes, by things that they did wrong in their routine. And I heard a, something about the um, Simone Biles who won, won the gold. There were like three billion people watching on TV, you know, rounded to the nearest billion. Three billion people watching her do this routine, all about tallying up how many mistakes she makes. Do you feel that way in life a little bit? No matter what you do going through day to day, you're measured by your mistakes. There's this bar of perfection and everything that you do that's not loving, not pleasing to your God. It's just another deduction and another deduction. And I just, if I were doing any of those routines, you would not even want to see the score. I mean, those guys holding themselves like, yeah, I'd be like, ah, and just fall flat to the floor. And sometimes I think we feel that way. It's just impossible. There, there's no way we can measure up to all the mistakes. And you know what? That's true. We cannot measure up to our mistakes. We can't get that perfect score. Someone else had to. And that was Jesus. If you can use the example of the Olympics, Jesus is our all-around champion. Every aspect, he was perfect. He was sinless. He was the Son of God, a perfect substitute for us so that when we stand before God in heaven, we're no longer measured by our mistakes. We're measured by Jesus' perfection. Jesus takes off that gold medal he won and he puts it around our neck and says, here's the champion. And we know we didn't do anything to deserve that medal, yet Jesus gives it to us freely as a gift. So this morning as you come here, maybe you haven't been to church in a long time. Maybe you've, this is your first time. You're not really sure what to expect. Here's the message we want to make loud and clear that God loves you, that Jesus loves you, and what he did on the cross was for you and for me. To wash away all of our mistakes, to make that a perfect score, and to give us eternal life and salvation. So you can leave whatever it is you brought here today, you can leave it at the cross confident that Jesus paid for it, that Jesus has forgiven it, and that God no longer sees it. So take heart. God loves you and he has forgiven you. Amen.